Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Here is a um, rig CC cam, or else you want to know me. Um, I'm doing a tutorial because um, I see a lot of people trying um, how to do um, a good backgrounds and skins for uh, TeamSpeak 3. So, what you need to do first, you're gonna open your TeamSpeak 3 with your resolution. What is the meaning of this? Doing a print screen. When you do a print screen, you're gonna get all the correct scales of the parts you want. So, as you see, this is not scaled. Even if I put auto to auto size, when you do like like this, like that, or even full screen. So, what we want to do? If you do big images two big images the point here is when you go to a uh, lower resolutions like 800 per 600 uh, or um, 1024 per 768 or even 720p resolution um, what's gonna happen this image is gonna be scaled auto scale like for this nice and scaled but full screen is a crap so I took the print screen of this. So let's start now. I'm going to open the print screen with Adobe Photoshop CS6. After I know the correct um, scales, I'm going to start designing. Well, there he is. Designing. Let, uh, let's skip a bit. All right, at 66.67 percent, we have here the scale. So since we can um, we can know everything, let's press here on the rectangle marquee tool and and see how much we have. One six six zero. Okay. I'm going to take a print screen of this so um, I can know. Let's open a notepad and see like chat 1660 per how much? Let's uh, do the marquee again. So let's Ctrl D and one more time select this. We know that at least 1660 for how much? Ah, 220. Two hundred and twenty. Okay. So the chat we have here. Now let's know the right corner. So we have now five hundred and fifty. Per 579. So the right corner. Done. Now the main. Ten ninety eight. we have so what we can do now let's start a new one and you see my main resolution 1680 per 1050 so I'm going to start over them over the chat 
We want a transparent background, so let's press OK. There we have the shed, do not worry, it is at 66% and not 100%. I can show you how it is at 100%. It's too big, so we can see everything we want. Let's get back to the 66.67%. Done. So what we can do? We can go over Google and search for like uh, space space backgrounds HD. I already have here the search. All right. So, what do you think that's gonna fit? We will need to cut it, as you know. So. Let me pick something uh, like this one, 1080p, but I think I will be able to cut these parts, or this top part, which is going to be very useful. Okay, done. Let's open the, the image we downloaded from the web and put it here. As you see, it's very big. But I can teach you um, an easier way. We can just um, open it with Office Picture Manager, Edit, Cut, and there we go. We have here something really nice. And we can save. We can go back to Photoshop. We can open the part we want, the space one. And there you go. Okay, unlock, double click to unlock the layer. Image. We can go to image size. And let's do something really, really quite nice. I will try to do something new but uh, it's um, like not working. Well my mouse is out of battery so we'll need to use the pad. It's alright as well. So Let's use the um, image, the image size, for better. We're gonna press Ctrl A to select, Ctrl C or right button, and go under the untitled one, and let go. You see, the image is big like shit. So, like this would be very great. Now that we have it here, let's close the other part. No, we don't want to save it. And like this as well. Well done. We can get like uh, an effect. Let's do a uh, special effect. But at least I want to insert my community symbol here. So I'm going to the images and get my logo. copy of the logo which is very small at 100% it's a logo I made yesterday just to the forum but that is a copy I'm going to go to the original logo which is big so control A let's do the same to this image and let's go to here you can do control T and as you know we can still go under here. 
this will be very fun to do okay you can pull it here right on the corner press ok it's under here but seems I want to do like um, planning option let's insert some bevel and emboss like a contour no let's go to a texture like rock texture it looks nice and simple and here we have everything set so let's uh, save as let's go to desktop the image um, I don't want to save the, the project but the PNG so I'm going to insert like a chat okay and let's go here it is 100% chat the quality of the image is alright so once again I have here black planet already but I need to go to the GFX to black planet or um, let me see where is the styles here there is the styles chat under tab I'm going to get the name and delete this paste here chat tab and done now we are going to open the TeamSpeak 3 once again and see how it is the chat under tab well seems it's not fitting chat on the tab you have here all the marks so you know you need to go to GFX black planet or even to the style position scale I'm going to put auto chat under tab the chat tab chat under tab dot uh, it's jpeg here so we need to put this png and there you go now it seems it's going to appear all right I put full screen it's okay and we have here the image we want it saying black planet I'm going to connect to my TeamSpeak server connected and then seems that even the colors fit very well as you see the pink goes good now we just need this one but looks very very crazy actually let's disconnect and to do the others is all the same way you need to edit all the time this file you need to put like auto uh, scale uh, fix it so when you move to different um, resolutions it's gonna be auto automatic well, hope you guys enjoy this video and rate it if you like.